The much anticipated exhibit about the rock legend has arrived in Toronto from its origins of London, England. It's the first North American stop of the much anticipated exhibit and gallery president Matthew Teitelbaum is hoping the thin white duke himself might show up to see the show. Do you anticipate a visit by Mr. Bell? We live in hope. I mean, you know, I think it would be great to understand his response to the exhibition. Uh, we'll certainly extend the invitation. Uh, as I say, he has connections to Toronto. Uh, we live in hope. We, we, the challenges with the exhibition were significant. This is the most ambitious installation we've ever done in the new building because of the amount of audiovisual equipment. And, you know, your readers and your listeners should know that you wear headphones which are completely immersive. You don't have to press any buttons once you put them on and it's activated by where you stand in the exhibition which means under this carpet there's a whole web of wire and touch points and magical things that happen uh, that are very intensive to present at the AGO. Uh, the installation has taken over two weeks uh, but we're thrilled with the results. David Bowie is curator. Victoria Broke says she never met or spoke with David Bowie about the exhibit, but she was happy to go to his own personal archives of 75,000 different objects. She called that down to 300 that are in this exhibit. Certainly what we were shown, we were able to show, we were able to choose from. And there were a number of things that we came across that we didn't even know existed, uh, which was really exciting, but otherwise, yeah, we had carte blanche. What is it about that man that, that keeps us interested after 40, 50 years? I think probably the single most interesting thing is how many people, artistic, creative people working now, reference Bowie as a huge influence on their lives. So if we take that as the starting point and, and work back, there's the fact that Bowie himself took his ideas from such a hugely broad range of places, often very obscure, but by bringing them into his music and his performances, he introduced those quite obscure, often intellectual, avant-garde ideas to a very large number of people. Big things are expected for the David Bowie is Toronto exhibit. Over 300,000 people visited it when it first premiered in London. Bowie is also back in the news this year with a new album and a much-rumored tour. For QMI Agency, I'm Jane Stevenson.